So now we're going to dive into some specific exercises with quantum numbers and determining them. So remember, we're trying to jump away from an electron configuration. So we have sodium. And remember, sodium's atomic number is 11. So that means that in its neutral form, because it has no charge up here, it has also 11 electrons. So looking at our alpha diagram, we create our configuration. 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 p6. 2, 4, 6 is 10, and we're missing one electron. So our next level is 3s1. So once we analyze this orbital, what we're going to do is we write one box, because this box is s, only one orientation, so 3s, and we have one electron, and that one electron is pointing upwards, right? So when we analyze this and we want to give our quantum numbers, we're going to say that the main quantum number n l m s is going to be three because our highest level our highest orbital is three s this is the one we're looking at so our highest uh number is letter three and is number three and then if we look at l which is the shape which is the azimuthal quantum number we're in an s orbital and remember s is zero p is one d is two and f is three right? So L is zero because we have a, an S orbital and M is also going to be zero because there's only one orientation, right? So the, if there's only one orientation, the middle orientation is always going to be zero as well. And last but not least, our spin is pointing upwards. So positive one half. Okay. So we're done with that one. Now, when we look at sodium plus one, remember, this means that it's a cation. So that means that it, uh, that it lost one of its electrons. So even though its atomic number is still 11, now how many electrons do we have? Here we had 10 ele 11 electrons, and here we're going to have 10 electrons. Why? Because it's more positive. It lost one electron, so we have 10. 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 p6. So the same as neon, right? So let's look at that last uh, orbital that was filled. And that last orbital that was filled is P. So we draw three little boxes because those are our orientations for P orbital. And then these are called 2P. But 2P has all its boxes filled up, right? So up spin, up spin, up spin, one, two, three. And then when we come back, down spin, down spin, down spin. And the last electron that we filled is this one, the one that I'm highlighting in yellow. So again, we look at our quantum numbers, at our, at our set of quantum numbers. And in this case, what's going to happen? We're going to have, for the main quantum number, our highest number is number 2. Then we're in a p orbital. p corresponds to what? To number 1 for the azimuthal quantum number. We're on the last box. So remember, middle box is 1, right box is 1. And left box is negative 1. Again, just to recap, middle box is 0. I'm sorry. Right box is 1. Left box is minus 1, just like a number line. So we filled it out in the last box. It's 1. And last but not least, up spin or down spin? Down spin. So this is negative 1 half. And remember to watch the uh, explanation of quantum numbers in the other video tutorial. Let's go for phosphorus. Phosphorus has atomic number 15. In its neutral form, it also has to have... 15 electrons. So let's do that electron configuration. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. And then we have 3s2. This is 12 electrons because up to here we had 10. And then we have 3p3 because 10 plus 2, 12 plus 3, 5. So 15. We look at that last orbital, 3p. We're going to draw our little boxes. Again, three boxes for P because P has three different orientations. This is called 3P. And we're going to write our upspin electrons. One, two, three. And we're done because we already filled those 3P electrons. Okay. Our, the last electron we filled is this one. So what are our quantum numbers? Our quantum numbers are going to be three for the main number because that's the highest level of the last, of the last orbital that we filled. Then we have, for the azimuthal, the shape is P. P is 1. 
For the boxes, remember, 0 is the middle, 1 is this one, and negative 1 is the other one. The last one we filled is this one, so it's a 1. And last but not least, up spin or down spin, up spin, so plus 1 half. Okay? Good. Parentheses. Last but not least, a phosphorus ion, which is actually a what? It's an anion. So in its regular state, it still has 15 protons. For its atomic number meaning that in a regular state it would have 15 electrons but here we're more negative by how many by three so this guy has 18 electrons so its configuration is 1 is 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 and remember that this is 10 it's the same as neon okay and then 3 s 2 12 and we're missing 6 because we want 18 right so 3 p 6 so very similar to the exercise that we just did up here, it's we draw our three boxes. We're still in 3P. We're talking about a different atom, however. And then we draw our up spins. One, two, three. We're still missing uh, another three to complete this, uh, these six. And we're going to go four, five, and six. The last electron that we filled is this one. This is the one we're going to focus on. And again, our quantum numbers are going to be 3, because this is my highest level. Then it's P. P is 1. Then what else do we have? We have uh, now our magnetic quantum number. This is the last box. So it's a 1 again, and it's pointing downwards, okay? So since it's pointing downwards, it's negative 1 half. And see, these were almost identical, but they're not identical because one is the up pointing uh, upward spinning electron and the other one is the downward spinning electron and remember no two electrons can have the same set of quantum numbers because these are different ones the downspin and the upspin okay and we're looking at the last electron that we filled so let's look at another exercise really quickly let's do some with D and let's me think of an atom that has um, that we can use for this exercise. And the one I'm going to choose is chromium. And chromium has 24 as its atomic number, right? So what I'm going to do is just take a little refresher, look at the noble gas notation video, and remember it's helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon, okay? And we know their atomic numbers, 2, 10, 18, 36, 54, and 86. This is how it's going to help us to abbreviate a little bit. So instead of writing all of this stuff, I'm going to go ahead and do it. 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 P6, 3 is 2, 3 P6. And what comes after 3 P6? It's 4 is 2. And this is 23D4, okay? Remember, we can abbreviate all of this because this is helium up to this one. With this one, it's neon. With all of this, it's argon. So that's the highest we could go, right? So we can abbreviate this again as argon with its 18 electrons, and then we have 4s2, 3d4. Now, remember, we're focusing on, right now we're not speaking about valence electrons, we're speaking about that last electron that we actually filled, okay? So, we're looking at 3d4, and for 3d4, we're going to draw our little diagram again, and remember, d has five orientations, watch the, the quantum number video five orientations so i'm going to draw five boxes okay and these the set of five boxes is called 3d and we're going to fill our electrons in order starting left to right up spin up spin up spin up spin and we're done four electrons so now when we look at the set of quantum numbers we're analyzing this orbital main quantum number is the same as the coefficient okay so we're looking at this one three then Asimuffle quantum number is the same as, remember, S is 0, P is 1, D is 2, F is 3. So D means that we're in number 2. 
Then next is the orientation. So in other words, what box are we on? So what box are we on? The middle box is zero, one, two, negative one, negative two. And the box that we filled our last electron in, which is this guy right here, this is the one we're looking at, is box number one. And last but not least, it's pointing upward, so positive one half. And this is my set of quantum numbers for the chromium electron, okay? Let's do an f orbital. And for the f orbital, let's choose, let me think, you guys. We're going to choose... Mm, cerium okay so let's do cerium and cerium is atomic number 58 that one i don't know by memory i'm sorry so 58 let's use our cheat sheet right here 58 under 36 54 we're going to use xenon right so we're going to abbreviate using noble gas notation xenon is 54 and i'm still missing four electrons because this is in its neutral form so xenon is one two three four five it's on period five so my next orbital is six s two and after six s if we remember alpha's diagram which you should remember or know how to draw comes for f so after we draw for f we're still missing 54 plus 2 is 56 plus 2 is 58 for f2 so the one we're focusing on is this orbital for f we draw our orientations and remember let's look at some remember this sheet from the other video i made f has seven orientations so seven little boxes ranging from negative three all the way to three with the middle box being zero so we're going to copy this and we're going to draw one two three four five six and seven boxes representing those orientations for my f orbital this is for f and then we're going to draw our electrons up spins first but we only need two of them so up spin up spin this is the last electron that we filled so when we look and we want to make our set of quantum numbers we're going to go ahead and write remember n m n l m s sorry for that mistake Oh, did I make that same mistake over here? I hope not. Anyways, no, I didn't. So, NLMS, our N is the same as this one, as the number of our orbital, which is 4. L is the shape, and remember, SPDF0123, so this is number 3. Now, in what box did we end up on? 0 is the middle, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. We're in box negative two. And last but not least, up or down? Up is plus one half. And down is minus one half. So plus one half. So I hope with these exercises it's a little bit more clear what you guys have to do. And if you have questions, write a comment.